All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to The Dinner Truth. It's your boy Tino again. And, you know, we're back with the bangers. We're back with a, a new episode. Um, um, just for everyone watching, I want to give a big shout out to people who have been supporting. Do not forget to subscribe. It's there. You see, I'm doing these things now on YouTube. You know, we're blowing up. Hopefully. Um, so, look, today, I really wanted to keep focusing on, on hip-hop. I really wanted to keep focusing on continuously trying to get people on who have not only just been a part of Australian music for a long period of time, but also people who are continuously shaping it. And also, people are always willing to help. You know, just good people. We like to get good people on this podcast. So um, so today we've got Solo. So Solo, how you doing? Yeah, good, brother. You good? Yeah, you good? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you know, for a lot of people who don't know, I got I to gotta make sure... I introduce you well. <laughs> yeah. Gotta make sure I give the, a good, the good introduction. <laughs> yeah. But um, for a lot of people, especially if you're in the Western Cindy, everyone growing up knew Justice Crew. <laughs> right? You're exposing you think, me. Yeah, I'm exposing <laughs> you. I'm exposing you. <laughs> Justice Crew was a big part. If you grew up in Western Cindy around my age, so maybe around 10 years ago, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Between like <laughs> that period of time, ten to nine years, <laughs> Justice Crew was on. They were doing all these tours around Liverpool, <laughs> Parramatta. I remember that. Right. All yeah. the under eighteen <laughs> festivals. I remember that. And Solo was a part of Justice Crew. <laughs> yeah. It's a, he was a part of the early journey. So, Solo, man, how you doing? What's how, happening? How, how's your day been? Yeah, it's good. Today's it's good? good. Yeah, I'm feeling good today. Yeah. What you been up to this week? Um, this week just resting. Hey, I've I've been going. I was going hard, man, and I, I actually caught pneumonia in my chest. So, like, right now, I just, you know, I'm good. I'm you resting. Good? I've been resting, and I'm feeling better. So feeling no, better. That's good, man. Yeah. Health is wealth. That's what that's they true. say. That's what they say. Facts. But, hey, man, when you're grinding, man, that shit don't stop. That's, yeah, yeah that's, that's what shit. happened. Yeah, yeah, I was just like, go, 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 <laughs> and I just went, Christ. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, look, so, like, I want to I wanna really start from the beginning because you, yeah. you have a really great story to story in regards to tracking to you where you are now mm, mm. but you also have a very good lead up you know there were different steps that you took yep. that i've been able to see and i guess a lot of people have also been able to see yeah. so to get to where you are yeah. and i think that's you know even off off camera that's something that you told me that yeah. i think is very interesting to people is that you know like we were just talking about if you are a creative one of the the hardest thing to do is i guess be patient with the process yeah, right for sure. Um, yeah. And you know, and, and just talking to you, and talking to you about it, you know, you really gave me good insight. So, mm. look, I want to start from the beginning. So, the beginning, Genesis, Genesis. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Genesis. let's so let's start from that. So, right. look, I know you you're originally from New Zealand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Born and bred in New Zealand. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, came over here. So yeah, I came over here probably 2007. I just I came by myself, with the, you know, a suitcase. Just came over here um, on my own, kind of just, I was, I was b-boying at the time. So yeah. I originally started off as a dancer. Um, you know, I was winning a few comps here, like in Sydney. Um, kind of had a name for myself a little bit, you know. Uh, and then, then uh, a friend approached me about the idea of the group, Justice Crew. Mm -hmm. Or creating a, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't called Justice Crew at the start, but creating a group, like an all-star team of dancers. We got across that, <coughs> created the group, um, obviously won a couple comps, then um, entered, obviously, the TV show, won the TV show, mm -hmm. you know, done its rounds, you Man, know, the story. Be, uh, like, I, gotta, I gotta ask you a few things, we can't just skip that, we can't just, that's a big part of it, so, okay. Ex I this guy's know. exposing me, okay, exposing look, me. Look, 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 I want to know, when you were on the show, yeah, like, just, like, did, how, how, I don't know how to describe this, but was it full on for you to be on the show? Like, you know, with all the intention? Yeah. With, with you know, how did yeah. you deal with that intention? I, I think, like, at the start, um, well, because being in the group and my my best mate, uh, Scrap, mm -hmm. uh, you know Scrap? Yeah. yeah, he's from, you know, he's from Western. Um, like, he he's the type of guy who's like, yeah, yeah, this is me. Yeah, yeah. I'm here, you know what I mean? But, like, I... I'm like, you know, coming from New Zealand, I, I'm quite like, I'm, I'm not really an out there person. I'm quite like shy. But, um, you know, being with him and kind of watching him, 
it kind of taught me how to kind of take that attention yeah, yeah, and yeah. like deal with the attention. But after a while, I just, I, I think like, because it happened overnight, like literally it was just like, no one knew us. And then all of a sudden, all of Australia knew who we were. That's and weird, man. Yeah, it's, it's such a weird process. Like, to be honest, it was kind of strange because, and I'm such an observer as well. I just kind of watch and just seeing it happen from a girl not knowing me to girls knowing me yeah. was like, what? You got I was that never, clout, Because I was man. never cool. I was never yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. never been cool. Like, yeah. And all of a sudden, I'm cool. I was just like, oh, I, I could get used to yeah, this. Yeah, look, you know I would take mean? that. <laughs> <laughs> but like, and seeing my boy scrap, you know, Omar, he was just like, yeah, what up? Like, <laughs> yeah. You know? Well, I'll tell you a funny story. Yeah, there was yeah. this one story. Yeah. Um, we're, at, um, we're at a club, O2, this is back in the day. And I just remember after the show, we won. And I get to the club. He gets there before me. And he's at the bar. And I see him at the bar. And I just see him walk to the bar. And he's like, points to the, um, the, what, the bartender. Yeah, yeah. And he goes like this, points to the front. He's like, yo. And then he goes, that points that side, that side. And he's like, the bartender shot the whole bar. Everyone. <laughs> Jeez! Uh, hey. out the ball like a true hey. baller, man. That's what that. That's what that cloud does. My guy man. Scrap, that's, man. that's crazy. Jeez. But I can yeah. imagine that because I think it was it was such a big thing, especially within yeah. Australia. Like, like everyone knew what the hell it was, and that was back. I think it was just like pre-internet. So yeah, everyone yeah, yeah, wasn't yeah, yeah. everyone yeah, yeah. wasn't really on the internet as much. Nah, as nah. People actually sat down and actually watched <laughs> Channel Ten, Channel Seven, yeah, yeah, Channel Nine. Very on TV. Yeah. So people right. actually knew who the hell people were on TV. Yeah. Social media hadn't really kicked off. As much it was just like Facebook, I yeah, think, yeah, yeah, thing. yeah. But but the, the earlier starting starting yeah. stages of Facebook. Yeah. So you guys won that, and then what sort of events happened after that? Oh, uh, so like we won dancing. So we won the show dancing, and then then our manager we got pulled into a um, meeting one time with our manager who ended up being our manager, and he was like, "You guys should do a song," and we're like, "Why would we do a song?" And then he's like, and then the Chris Brown, who I was saying earlier, like Chris Brown was on the television. And he's like, that's why. And then he was like, why dance to other people's music when you can dance to your own? And then we were like, we're not singers. Like, you know what I mean? And then he was just like, well, let's just try. Mm -hmm. We tried it. And it worked. You worked. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make it seem so simple? You tried it. And yeah. All of a sudden it worked. Yeah. And then that, that led you guys to, you know, going and touring over all of the Yeah. Stuff. So like and we. How old were you when all, all this right, was happening? I was like early 20s. Yeah, early 20s. Damn, that, yeah. that would have been a madness, man, going around the Just sitting even looking at your face, you're like, bro, like, what? Right, right. And we're like, we're like seeing the world. So like, we're like, I remember we, you know, we toured with Pitbull in America for like three months on and a Pitbull. tour bus. Yeah, Pitbull and Kesha, actually. Damn, no, and Kesha yeah. had that song. Dance that, was it? Yeah, that? yeah, that one. Dance that, that whole bunch. make it high, <laughs> DJ. Yeah, that so was we're amazing. like in this, like, yeah. Yeah. Bro, it was intense and like, we went all around America. We did every city in America, and then we did Canada as well. What was the big? What was the biggest difference between the American crowd and let's just say touring in Australia? I think the American crowd, because they didn't really know us. They didn't yeah. really know us, so it was. But they were like, "Oh man!" Like, as soon as they heard us talk, like Australian, they heard an Australian accent, they were just like mind blown. And then, because obviously, you know, we're all young and flipping, singing, yeah, 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 yeah. It was like. It would, I think for an, Americ for an American audience, I mean, this is just my opinion, like, it's so much to take on because it was like, they're mixed, they're, you know, they're young, they dance, they flip, they sing. It was so much to process. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to like, say One Direction, and no offense to One Direction or whatever, but like, it's, you just, you know what it is. Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. But like with us, because there's so many different nationalities happening, there's so much you know, tricks happening and vocals and stuff like that. So <coughs> I think it was, uh, it, it took a while to process, but like they eventually got it. And then when we spoke, obviously they were just like, oh, we love you guys. But, um, but yeah, it was a, it was a crazy time, man. Yeah. Man. And, and I yeah. think, what did you learn the most about touring, whether that be in America and Australia, especially during that period of time? It would be mental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I love the the Australian crowd. They know us because they we're yeah. theirs. You know what I mean. So, but I think like with the biggest thing, like I, I, me personally, what I learned from it is like, yo, don't burn any bridge from anyone. 
Mm -hmm. Like, because you never know where someone's going to be in a year. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, say we talk now, and I'm like, yo, get out of here, whatever, I'm disrespecting you. Next year, you're like the biggest vlogger in the world. And th we'll pray that's going to yeah, happen, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? That's, but like, yeah, that's what, that's the biggest thing that I think I learned from that is just like, respect everyone the same. Because yeah, you never yeah. know where they're going to be in like a couple of weeks even, you know what I mean? Oh man, that's true. Yeah. I always say keep the same energy, man. Like that's it. But yeah. there's also, but even that being said, man, one thing that I do realize from a lot of people who uh, within the Australian music industry is that a lot of, not a lot of them, but like there are certain people who, like you can tell, mm. that's the sort of energy that they keep, regardless mm -hmm. of who you are. Mm -hmm. e even you, you're like that, man. Like regardless <laughs> yeah. of who you are, yeah. you still give people the time of day, yeah. and then you know you don't sip your own cordial. I yeah, always like yeah, to say, yeah. you don't sip your own cordial. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. just sort of respect everyone and you keep it humble. Yeah, yeah. You know? that's it. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, I, I, I learned that a lot. And like I said, because I'm an observer, so mm -hmm. I just like to watch. But um, yeah, man, keep the same energy, bro. And it's always about just being positive because you don't know what's going to come back to you. you know yeah, I mean? yeah. Yeah. But that's, that's, a, that's a huge thing I learned, man. Yeah. So, so obviously, you know, you guys were, you guys were doing your thing for a long period of time. Yeah touring yeah uh, still making music yeah. and then what, what in regards to your development did you yeah. ever split off or did you stay with justice crew no how did I, you sort of develop and get into the, the back end of the music? back end so i mean i've always been a fan of the technical side of things and especially like i've always took a liking to production and growing up in new zealand as well I'm, in my time like nerd and pharrell was like my inspiration i didn't even been a part of music i didn't know what music was like you know i didn't really know anything about it um but like i've always taken a liking to like the background side of things and how it works so i mean yeah one day i just i just clicked and i just wanted to figure it out like because we've been put in the studio but it was not saying that it was like we were being told what to do, but it was, we were still clueless to a lot of the stuff that was going yeah, on. You were still learning and, and yeah, 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 yeah. So <coughs> like studio, studio life still felt foreign to me. So yeah, man, one day I just, I met someone, um, shout out to Nick Martin, man. Like I met him at a studio session and then I was, and I was just like, yo, how did you learn this? He's a producer. So, you know, I was like, how did you learn this? And then he was like, oh, um, I, I just started, I, I can't remember what he said. I think he just started at, oh, he, he went to, bro, what's that school? Not AIM, the other one, J SAE. Uh, okay, SAE. Yeah, 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 he went to SAE, so. Is that in the city? Yeah, it's, it's in, the, in city, the city, yeah, yeah. So he went to SAE, I think, and then um, he was like, but like, we have a studio um, in Alexandria that a whole lot of us do like music. And so I go to the studio and I met like a few of the other boys. <coughs> and then um, I kind of just hung around it, yeah, and then eventually I was just like, okay, I, I want to try it, I want to I wanna try it. I was lurking around, like, with the boys, like, but, like, there was one point I was just like, I think it was, like, J. Cole's album, bro, I listened to J. Cole's album for us, it was Drive, and I was just like, I don't know, something clicked in me, bro, and I was mm. like, okay, I want to make beats. <laughs> Damn, that, yeah, and then that, that was a good album, yeah. That was a good joint. It that was, was a good yeah. Joint. I ain't gonna lie. That is fine. You know what? It's crazy because I was thinking about the process and I remember Manu, like Manu showed me one performance of J. Cole and he was, he did, it was Lights Please and like, it was like him, he, uh, he had like a band play it and that blew my mind. I was like, bro, he, so he produced this beat and he got a whole, he orchestrated it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that blew my mind and then, when I heard Forest Hills Drive, I was just like, oh yeah, I want to make beats. And then the next day I, I moved into that studio. And then- You moved in? Yeah, That's I bought. I man. literally bought this, the, the fucking, my bad for swearing. That's but fine, don't worry, we're explicit, man. Oh, okay, don't worry. Yeah. We, we're well, I bought, explicit. I bought <laughs> the fucking speakers. <laughs> <laughs> I bought me a sound card, whatever. I went to, you know, um, Guitar Factory and bought all the stuff and just moved in. And then I literally locked myself in that room for a year. Then I, Sometimes I barely saw day. I, like there was one time I, I, I mean, I was, I hadn't seen day for a week. You were just in the room, man. Yeah. You just, you just <laughs> yeah. locked in. But sometimes you need to do that, man. Yeah. You got you to gotta tune into your craft, yeah. man. That's it. Because yeah. that's one thing. 
that's one thing I've noticed with a lot of people is that like people love to like I've noticed people give you that fake advice to like it's for example if I ask you for advice mm. I'm asking for you for advice because I want the cheat code yeah you know what I mean yeah I, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah but the but the but the but the real essence behind everything is just do the work and just be consistent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, you know what I mean. You can't give you, everyone asks for advice mm. for a cheat code, and yeah. that's understandable. Like you yeah. obviously want faster ways to do things. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. want to get to where you want to get mm-hmm. to. I guess mm-hmm. as a creative as well. Yeah. But but you can't cheat the work. Nah, <laughs> you, got, you can't. Nah, like you can't cheat the true. stay in your room, uh, yeah. stay in your room for a week. You yeah. know, like you can't yeah. cheat that. Yeah. You know? It's pretty funny because I was actually living at that studio for a bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I was kind of not that I was homeless, but I was just I just stayed there in a transition of moving houses. But like, yeah, bro, I did time, I did proper proper time, and I'm not gonna lie, there were there were a few cheat codes running around, like especially with like dopamine and miracle yeah, that yeah, helped yeah. me as well. But like, um, yeah, bro, I yeah, it was crazy. That was a crazy time too. Like, and then like I was saying, like, you know, in that studio. People were just like yeah, so, talk, so talk a little bit about that, man. Yeah. Because a lot of people don't know, or haven't don't know what we're talking about. You know, I think yeah. it's very it's inside thing. But could you explain that for people who don't necessarily know what you're talking about? Yeah. Talk about Dream Big and yeah. then what you guys were doing over there. So um, Dream Big was a was a studio um, we had in Alexandria. Um, there was a space before it, but like I feel like the 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 space that like the likes of like me. Manu Crooks, Ampha, um, Will Star, Manny, um, yeah, Dopamine, who else? Uh, I.E. Um, Damn, everyone. Yeah, everyone was in there. Um, Ziggy even, B-Wise, it's my guy. Um, yeah, well, it was just a space. It was literally an office space. Mm-hmm. Then we built walls. Oh, you six, yeah, 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 six walls. So, I mean, you've been there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so. Yeah. It was, you know, it was a bit, it was a bit ghetto, but you know, we made it work, and um, yeah, it was just a studio space, six rooms, all just happening, music, and that's where all these guys, we just developed, mm-hmm. really, like we really just put in time. Like we're saying, like my time, I was putting in time, but there were like twelve other guys doing the same thing, yeah, and we were just there from, for days, 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 but um. You really saw people grow and there were a lot of moments that happened and you know even like artists would actually come there and just chill out i remember one time i walked in and hobson was there damn yeah he was just working on beats and our fool was like bro hobson like yeah i was kind of fanboying for a minute and then yeah yeah gz G, um g easy pull up one time i think for a party bro gold link pulled up bro fk fki pulled yeah. up bro Many, there's heaps, bro. There's See, a lot of stuff happening. And, and one thing I like about that story is that the concept of you know if you can't if you can't get into the door just, or can't yeah. get into the house, build your own house. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like the yeah, way that yeah, you yeah. guys yeah. partnered up and teamed up, worked yeah. together. Fuck it, yeah. let's just all try to put something together and then yeah. we can help each other grow. Yeah, yeah. Because that's because I think it's important, man. Like Australia is such a Australia is such a wealthy country. Yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of money in this country there's a lot of opportunities in, yeah, the, in this country sure. we shouldn't act for as sure. if like we're yeah. just savaging over a bone no yeah, we can help yeah, each yeah. other here 100 you know it's, it's yeah. even like the entertainment industry i kept yeah. telling I, like the thing about the entertainment industry in australia is that like we, we're, we're fortunate enough to go into to, to be growing up or living in mm. one of the biggest western western economies yeah you know like yeah. why can't i just tip my little my little finger in yeah. the pool of the market here, right. you know, and and 100%. that and that comes from working together. Yeah, you, know, you shouldn't be act. People act like as if we're, we're scavengers. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, nah, get, that's yeah. so true. Like I get the fact that you know, it's great to like be competitive and yeah, attack yeah. it like that. But you can you can attack it from a different angle. Right. I mean, look at a lot of the other scenes throughout the world. A lot of them, yeah. especially if you look at the Atlanta scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they using the same producers majority of the time. Right, hundred percent. Even like look at like um, <laughs> if you look at like the Dungeon family. Like with CeeLo, Outkast, um, Janelle Monet, even Future was in there as well. Like they were all just like, you know, mm-hmm. working together. But look what happened. See those names I just mentioned, they all come from one spot. Like it's, but that's, that's what it is. I think that's another thing that, that I learned as well is just working together and sharing knowledge. Sharing knowledge is like, that's the currency. That's yeah. the new currency yeah. is knowledge. Like, I mean, it's always been currency, but like, Sharing it is, is so important for the culture and 
so important for especially you know this country here and right now what's going on like yeah. it's so important so like yeah man that's that's one thing share the cheat codes and mm-hmm. you know, and fucking you can excel so you look man this, this is what we do on the dinner tree man we, we get into tandems <laughs> I don't, sometimes you know sometimes even i forget the question that, that, I, that I directed <laughs> yeah. we just get into the information man it's yeah, man. what they eat get to the but, codes um, cheat yeah. codes <laughs> so you know, you've d- you started your 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 journey as a producer. Yeah. You know, obviously you were you were, you were with Justice Crew. You toured. Yeah. You really developed as an artist. You know, you're yeah. growing into yourself. You found your passion yeah. for yeah. music, and then you started producing. Mm-hmm. How was? It, I always like to get an understanding of wh- how long did it really take you to be confident in your own ability as a producer? I mean, I'm not that even right now. I'm not that confident as a person, but like I, I feel like um, I don't know. If I were to, see, like, had some confidence, it's like when you see, like, you know, releases happen. Or, like, if I worked on an artist and then I see it do well. I started to gain confidence, I, you know, mm. as a producer. But, like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm my own worst critic, man. I, I wouldn't say that I'm... I, I'm always quite harsh on myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, like, I feel like, yeah, man, it, it took a bit of time. Like, right... Like, now I'm, I've got a bit of confidence, but I'm still like my own worst critic. But um, yeah, man, I I feel like I grinded at it for like a few years. So this is when I, at that at that studio, yeah, it was like 2014, 2015. What are we? 2000, 2019. 2019 yeah, that'd be 2020. Yeah, so like, <coughs> I feel like maybe in the past couple of years I started to really kind of find my groove and my sound. Yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, man, I. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. Mm. Yeah. Man, but, like, it's... I like that, though, because it really shows that, like, it, it, this shit didn't happen overnight. You know what I mean? No, it wasn't no, as if... No it wasn't as if it was something that, like... You know, because you could have... You just... You could have continued to... Um, and I think... Focus focus on Justice Crew, but you yeah. chose to branch out. You chose yeah, to, yeah. I guess, upskill yourself. Yeah, right? yeah, And yeah. get into it. Mm. So th- th- that's really, that's really an yeah. interesting thing, and it's good to see that as well, because... I think even for myself, sometimes, sometimes you try you, you keep all your eggs in one basket. Yeah. And you don't. Get, and sometimes you, you yeah. forget. Like one thing that like Rick told me was he said that um, the first time I met him, yeah. we talk about some artists, or whatever, and he goes, "Man, yeah. like you don't understand that there's so many things that happen behind the scenes. Yeah. You know, like behind the camera. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, and I never really realized that. Yeah. And then that's when I started to understand get engineers. Yeah. yeah, 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 like, yeah. I was I was like so. Yeah. It's yeah. not, that's just ten percent, twenty percent of what's happening behind yeah, the scenes. Yeah, man. Yeah, bro. It's like there's a whole <coughs> excuse me. Th- there's a whole process that that happens. But um, yeah, man. I I think like, and going back to the studio is like one thing I learned is to be self self efficient, self efficient. Yeah. yeah, self sufficient, self efficient. Yeah, just do everything, learn everything, and do everything to the full capacity because your mind is still growing day yeah. to day. So, yeah, man, that, that's one thing I, I learned. I feel like I just learned to do everything, man. Like, I, and, I, and I'm such, like, low-key, I'm a, I'm a kind of like a geek. Like, yeah, I yeah, like 100%. to learn, you know, all that stuff and all the technical stuff, the number, know the numbers, know the accurate sound, and accurate sonic. But, um, yeah, bro, I, I feel like there's so much that goes into it before you actually see the product. You know oh, yeah. what I mean? Man, don't forget the gigs right now are popping. Yeah. If you think about music right now throughout the world, the producers right now are the ones who have major play. Right. The, yeah, 100%. It, 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 it's, it's crazy now things are flipped. I mean, even if you, if you start looking, like when I started to listen to music, like my brothers used to be into like Joe. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it was yeah. really about the melody. Like yeah, you yeah. Asked, yeah. Needed to be able to sing. I love melody. You know what I mean? Yeah, they, you needed to really, really be able <laughs> you need to the sing. Girls, bro. So that's what I'm used to. <laughs> and then, um, and then now, man, you listen to Gunner, listen to Young Thug. Yeah. Like if you listen to a lot of these drill artists, like yeah, the, yeah, the producers yeah. are like, look, yeah. look at all the different like Wheezy, yeah. M1. Yeah. Like look at all these producers yeah. and now the influence that, that they have now in society. Right. I mean, even look at yourself. Like now, yeah. I always say like. If you look at you, well, one thing that you know people will, will notice is that you've been p- consistently producing a lot of these hits that people yeah, been listening yeah, to. Yeah. But a lot of people don't know who you are, but they they see that. Yeah, the so name. So they see yeah, that. Yeah, they yeah, see yeah, that yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, bro. No, that's so true. I think I think I feel like 
one the other that's the that's the thing <coughs> is like the producer is also an artist like you know what i mean you have the artist who's the vocalist but it's like who's creating the soundscape for it you know what i mean yeah and and i feel like you know it, there's there's more power to the producer these days as well because you know it it's first initially it's the it's the beat that you hear you yeah. know what i mean that's yeah. what you're gonna bop to like if you took the beat out well, you're gonna bop to the acapella or i you mean some you, say, can. you can yeah, yeah. <laughs> some you can I mean, but like yeah. but usually it's the beat that's like gonna make you dance and that's I mean, you can take the acapella out and play the beat. So, but I feel like more and more as time goes on, like the producer is the artist as well. And it's just becoming a collaboration. Yeah. yeah. I mean, look at Kenny Beats, look at Metro Booming, you know, look at Jules, look at J5. Like people are knowing these people, like, you know what I mean? So. They're like, I know what you mean. Like they're like, I guess I'm. Like you said, artists themselves. Like yeah, they, they actually are. have a following. They, yeah, have, they have a fan base themselves. That's it. Like Jules, I mean, I, I listened to the album he, he put out. Oh, this is like a year ago, two years ago. But I just know Jules as the producer, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, but he's behind a lot of these, you know, Afro beats and, you know, Afro swing hits. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? So like, yeah, I mean, it's crazy. Like right now. But that's, I think the future of music, it's not about a rapper or a singer. It's about artists collaborating what do you mean by that break that like down. if i say like because usually you'd know usually they just know let's say um <coughs> let's say future yeah you know what i mean but now the f it's the future of it is metro booming and future people know metro booming and then future. you yeah, know exactly. what i mean yeah, so yeah. it's not i feel like the future is not going to be like just future it's mm -hmm. going to be future and Metro. You'll see the names co like collaborating. Yeah, collaborating. together on the same. Because usually it's like the artist and then the producer behind. But now people want to know the producer. They want to know the beats. They want to know the source. So I, I, that's where I see the music going. Like even when I see Spotify, like you'll see um, the name of the artist and then you'll see also the producer next to it. You know what that's I mean? Crazy so now. But that, you know, that's, that's, that's the future. That's how I see it going. Because a lot of these kids out here, because they know how to, they can produce in a room, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They don't have to go to a studio. They can just go, to, they can go home, download Logic off Apple, bang. I know how to, I can figure it out myself, just like how I did it, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's like, you know the beef of Plug Walk? The yeah. song Plug Walk? Uh, have you heard, like, how it was produced? Like, there's a video, a documentary about nah. it? It was like, this white kid, literally, like, he just did it in his room. And then he sent it out to, to Rooster Kid. And then all of a sudden, he just sees his beat being wrapped on uh, on my rich kid yeah. and he just <laughs> and like it's gone no. but he was that plug wow no. oh, oh, but he showed he showed you like really as a as a I feel like I always said I, I feel like if <laughs> I could re rewind it back to like mm. when I was 15 mm. and I could see everything that's already happened I would have stopped making beats then right oh, yeah I would have stopped making beats yeah, then yeah. now you see like so many artists are so dependent on these, like, these big Produce, producers. Yeah, that's it. You know? Yeah. And, and like, that, even me, like, I, I feel like before, because I, I, was, I was more into rapping before, like, when, while I was in Justice Cross, like, you know, working on the rapping side. But I was just like, nah, I got to figure out how to make the sound myself. Yeah, you yeah, You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I can't, I can't just wait around for beats or I can't just download it from, from SoundCloud or whatever. I, it's like... I need to figure out how I need to create it for myself. So, yeah, man. That and then that's that's and then that's another phase is just going right from, you know, the production right through to writing your own song and then to mixing and mastering. That's another level. Like, yeah, yeah. That's on James Blake level. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that's. You know, how many artists do that? Do you know, James Blake. I mean, James Blake, that. Russ. I know Russ does it. I know Party Next Door did his first <coughs> album like that. That's yeah. another level of artistry, man. Like that is Jai Paul. Full control. Yeah. Full control. That's full what, control. Yeah. That's all right. I mean, that's what I'm striving for. Like, yeah. That's me as anyway. Like, yeah. Like even working on my own shit. And so, you know, you've definitely you've been in the same music scene for so what, ten plus years? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Easy, man. You I was the in game. your bedroom, man. Yeah. Uh, hey. <laughs> in the living room, you, your you, family was watching. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nah. you know the game ten plus year, years, man. Yeah, could you like explain to us the progression that you've seen 
in the Australian music scene and yeah. what it, maybe what it was like before and what it is like now? I, I feel like um, before, like, I mean, even Justice Crew times, like, I mean, Mir Miracle was doing his thing. You know, Bless was doing his thing back then. But there wasn't really anyone else. That I, I was like, oh, this is mad. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Obviously, 360 pairs and the hilltop. But again, it goes back to like, you know, source. N no offense to them. And I know they had their, their own thing going. But like, I mean, I, I feel like the development, especially Sydney as well, like this city, like, man crazy then going from like mirror was doing his thing and then now you see manu happening he starts to pop up ampha i mean it was different back then but you slowly i've seen i've definitely seen progression in the sound and mm -hmm. and 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 that's another thing in the producers like yeah, there's a lot more out now bro yeah, yeah like it not only the 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 rappers and the singers and the guys who do the melodies but the producers, man, like shout out to shout out to Miracle, shout out to Dopamine, shout out to Willstar, you know, doing doing their thing. Like mm -hmm. you just see this, the sound. We took control. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. We didn't have to go to America and be like, oh, no, we actually took it onto our own, into our own hands and just craft it, man. Like yeah, that's that, man. And you know what? Do you know what else is cool about it? Though I think, I think this is why. I think representation is important, man, because yeah. you guys just look like the average guy, like, from West. Like, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's so important for people yeah. to see that, like, not everyone can rap, not everyone can sing. Yeah. But, you know, you might be good at the beats, you That's might be it. tech, you might be That's tech it. savvy. That's it. Or you might have leadership abilities yeah. where you can become a manager. Yeah, man. Or, you know, you, you might just be a good organiser, you know, you might yeah. be good at the production, might be a good videographer. But when you see people doing what you want to do, yeah. and we see people like y'all, coming together and do what, what, what you guys do. Yeah. It, it makes a it makes a big difference. And I think yeah. also a big part of it is that now I feel as if it might not happen now, but in the next mm. two years, I feel like you can even see it, for example, with the government lo like like um, lo um, lockout laws. It's yeah, like yeah, yeah, they're starting yeah. to realize, obviously, whatever's happened, but they're starting to realize that entertainment yeah. and the nightlife in Sydney yeah. is starting to become profitable. Yeah. Right. 100%. They're starting to see that there is a demand for nightlife. Right. They're starting to see that people are actually eager to go to live events. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and through that, that's only going to allow, I guess, larger organizations and larger yeah, music yeah. entities yep. to start to really invest within. Yep. And you can see it now. Like, you can see some artists right. getting a plug. Yeah, you can yeah, see, yeah. like, Apple starting to come into the Australian yep. market. 100%. You can see Spotify trying to yep. really push themselves. So yeah. it really shows you, and you know with those brands, like they really try to get in a bit early before mm -hmm. things start to blow. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of really good, mm -hmm. good signs. But yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, that was dope. I, I just love seeing the representation, man. I just yeah, love seeing, yeah. um, well, seeing all of that. Yeah, I, I think the other thing I was going to say is like, is appeal. Like um, when it came to like people who, like the producers and then like everyone from that building, like from Dream Big, like we're such a vast mix of cultures. And then when, say like for people out West, cause we know, I mean, in Sydney in general, they see someone that looks like them doing something that, you know, production or whatever. They're like, oh man, he's kind of like, I, maybe I, cause that's always a thing too, is appeal as well. That's mm -hmm. what I notice as well. Like say for me, like, you know, a lot of Island kids or even like African kids, are, they're like, oh, yo, he kind of looks like and doing looks like me doing the beats. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, I can do that too. You know what I mean? So, that that that's a that's a big that's another big thing as well. Like, I mean, when they see Manu rapping, like, no offense, no, again, no offense to whoever, whoever. I mean, look, I mean, people got if, look. If it ain't in, it ain't it. That's <laughs> what I always say. If it ain't in, it ain't it. We like, all respect everyone who yeah. do what they gotta do. But sometimes you gotta allow that lane to, to switch up. That's it. You gotta allow. You, you gotta, gotta allow, allow it. That allow it, fam. So if you're offended, <laughs> hey, this ain't for you. <laughs> this ain't for you. But, but yeah, but sorry. you see, I mean, you see when Manu come up and Anfa come up, like you see every like I I'm not gonna lie, I saw a lot of a lot of these African kids go, yeah, yeah, fucking oath, like we're coming too, like you know yeah. what I mean. Even not only them, even the island kids now looking like one four. I mean, one four has been doing it for a minute, but like you, 
it's appeal. Like, oh, like the skin color, like you know yeah. what I mean. So that for me, I think is a, it's a it's a huge thing, and it just shows the vast of like you know different cultures in this place right now. Yeah, yeah. And it's and it's so healthy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I think I think music is one of those weird things that it always represents the culture that you're in. Yeah. Like art in general. Like yeah, art yeah, yeah, will yeah. always be like yeah. I was reading something about like um um like a lot of the genocides that happened like ha- happened throughout the world. Yeah. Whether that be Rwanda um not Rwanda, but whether that be for example the Holocaust or whether yeah, that be yeah, in yeah. different parts of, of, of history. Yeah. The first people that were taken out were for example, the comedians and people who are in entertainment. Yeah, right. Because people who are in entertainment are always a reflection of, and yeah. they're the, always the ones telling a story. Yeah. They're always the one, they're always a reflection and yeah. portraying what society is like at yeah, that yeah, time. Yeah, they so expose that, it. They expose it, <laughs> yeah. right? So now, right now, what you can see in the Australian music scene is that you can really see that um, the music and the diversity that you're mm. seeing within music mm. and that is doing well mm. is a reflection of our society is a reflection yeah. of our communities. Mm-hmm. It's a reflection of, I guess, what makes Australia great, which is yeah, multiculturalism. Yeah. 100%. You know? And 100%. you can see how well it's doing. Because I remember, like, people used to tell me all the time that yeah. um, one of, like, one of the bad, like, I remember there used to be this, like, this stigma. Um, the girl that came on here uh, previously, her name is Chica. She's yeah, in yeah. theatre. Yeah. She made a good point. She said that yeah. um, there used to be a stigma that people of color or people of ethnic backgrounds cannot yeah. sell something out because multiculturalism doesn't necessarily sell. Yeah, if right. If that makes sense. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. If, you, like if, if it wasn't white or if you weren't at a white theater, then you shouldn't have something ethnic in it because it wouldn't sell. Oh, that's crazy. And it was true. Like, you got yeah, that vibe yeah, yeah, sometimes, yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, hard. Um, and yeah, that, it's just interesting to tell. I mean, the R right now is a 100% reflection of society. Yeah, true. You know? Very true. And... um. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really starting to appreciate the role of an artist because it's more than, let's just say, making music or producing music. Yeah. Like, your role, you're telling a story, like, in a hundred years' time, like, you know, like, people yeah. may be listening to your music yeah. and your music is going to tell them a story yeah. of what Sydney was like at this moment. Do you know what I mean? It's crazy. I mean, I mean, I, I, look at, I mean, that's, and then that's when we get to, like, one four. Like, look at what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. Like, they're, ex- they're, ex- they're telling their story of what's happening in the area and then like cops want to shut it down and yeah like yeah. it's wow. it's crazy it's a headache it's crazy <laughs> it's a headache i mean it's a headache and look what i always say is like man i want to see australia is such a large economy man people have been making money in this country for a long period of time yeah like make some money of this shit yeah you know bro. what i mean like yeah, like sure. whatever you can like make some money of this shit like get into these markets like tap yeah. your foot into it everyone can eat yeah you know yeah. and no, it's good to true. see that because i like if it like i might not be from whatever area you're from or know whoever knows who mm. but like i want to see everyone make money <laughs> like, yeah yeah i want to see everyone feed their yeah, families 100 that what bro. See? that's what we want bro it's just to win and that's it. Like, I mean, and again, like I was saying, like when it comes to, especially with music and the arts, like that's the job of the future. That's it. Like that's where, that's, it will, it will get there. Yeah. It will get to a point where everyone's winning, doing what they love to do and what they're supposed to do. Yeah. yeah. So like, yeah, man, it's just a matter of time. It's a matter of time. Patience. Yeah. So who do you like coming out of Sydney now, man? If you can drop like maybe three to four artists, yeah. I know it's hard. I need me saying, okay, uh, well, but you just drop as many artists you want. It's hard to do three or four. Or just name some artists right now that you're feeling and, and you like their story in the background. Um, <coughs> man, I mean, bro, I, I have to say, uh, I like, obviously, oh, B Wise is my guy. And, and like, yeah, I, I like his story because I know his story and I know him. And then obviously, like, one four. Um, Man, I'd probably, bro, and then I'll have to give it to like Manu or Ampha, you know. Yeah, yeah, too. yeah. It's too but many. All, these are all my homies, yeah, you know I was what I mean? Say, so yeah. I'm just like, <laughs> but that's, I mean, that, again, it comes to appealing because I know them and they're my mates. So mm-hmm. like, I, I've got to show that love, man. I love those boys. Man. So so I wanted to ask you a question. Yeah. All right. Hit me. So I know a lot of people have been, I know people always see me doing heads up. If you can see, if you guys can see at the window, people are always coming to say what's <laughs> up. <laughs> but um, if you could, and uh, this, is, this is a statement that yeah. someone told me the other day. They said that 
and I, I was talking to you a little bit about this, but they said that the UK, for, I'm, I'm talking about different scenes in different yeah, countries, yeah. Mm -hmm. but the UK scene yeah. had garage music. Which developed over a long period of time, yeah, right. And yeah. it was doing, it was big, and mm. it was doing well. Mm. And then an artist like Skepta came along, yeah, right, yeah. Not only made the tracks that he that he made, yeah. but he was able to transit uh, transition to different markets, yeah. He transitioned to an American market, yeah. Transition to an Australian market, transit yeah. all over Europe, yeah. Do you think that there needs to be an Australian artist that is able to break other markets like that? Because yeah. the artists, don't get me wrong, the Australian markets that are artists that do great in different markets. Yeah. But we're talking about an Australian artist that completely dominates numerous, numerous countries. Numerous, numerous yeah. Countries. yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, <coughs> like you're saying, do I think there will be one? Or do you think, yeah, do you think that there should be one? And oh, yeah, there, no, one? There, there will be one. Like, I feel like it's just a matter of time. Like I was saying, it was, it's just a matter of time. Like, I, I can see it. You can forecast it. You know, every city has their time. Yeah. If you've seen it, Toronto had their time. London had their time. Like, you're, you're seeing different cities. I mean, obviously, LA and New York yeah. and Atlanta had their time. But, I mean, like, right now, a lot of people looking this way. Like, they're looking at this side of the world. So, I mean, there will be. There yeah. will be. What you're, what, what you're saying... 100%. There will be. It's just a matter of time. We just got to be patient. Yeah. We're doing what we're doing. Yeah. We're doing everything. Every, every section of everything creatively right now, even this. That's true. It's, it's a point. part of it. It's all a part of it. It's all a part of it. And it just takes time. Man, look at the... Even with videos, even... It just comes down to everything. You know what's crazy though? Funny you say videos because all of a sudden I started to see people doing videos and I was like, what the fuck? Like, since when there were so many where videographers. Yeah. <laughs> like, where were y'all? Where were y'all, like, last oh year? Like, I swear, I haven't seen so many videos. And I'm like, where were you guys? Like, I, I, oh. Man, I was like... I, I mean, obviously, like, shout out to, to the JM boys. Like, you know... I mean, they started to do some videos that were, like, visually crazy, you know, for the music artists. And next minute... One four come out, they do they max maxed out and he's doing his thing, you know, he's going going up. Shout out to Max out and then like man, every week I swear there's, there's a new video. Different. There's a new video. <laughs> like filmed by who? Filmed by what? I love filmed it. This man. Guy, that guy. I love it. I love it. But it goes back to like, you know, you can do it all in your room. Oh you know? exactly, man. You could do it all in your room and mm. I think also it's like you can do it. You know what I mean? You can do it. Um, yeah, I had bro. another question to ask you. Yeah. Okay. So now we're talking about the actual Australian sound. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So like you said, you know, you know patience is obviously, is obviously a key part of it and, and mm -hmm. development. But one of the slights Australia always gets mm. is that Australia doesn't have its own sound. Yeah. Now, okay, no matter where you go in the world, Australian accent is very unique because you can spot it out like Yeah, this, yeah, for sure. Right? And I yeah. think... The reason why a lot of Australian artists are doing really, really well is because the Australian cadence over a drill beat is crazy. Yeah. And especially the yeah. accent, the way we yeah. roll our, roll yeah. our, our words, yeah. it's crazy over, over a beat. But like UK have grime, yeah. like New York have their, like the hard New York sound, yeah. Cali has their own, the West Coast have yeah, their sound. Yeah, sound. How do you think an, a, Australians create their, like an authentic sound? Yeah. I mean, it's... I mean, it's bubbling <coughs> right now. Like, again, it's, it's time, man. Like, it's bubbling right now. Yeah. And you can see certain artists that are coming out and you're like, oh, that's... I'll, and, and you know, the other thing is, too, is like people locally, people are taking a liking to it. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. So, like, I mean, that's also a good sign as well. But, like, um, I, I mean, over time, now people are starting to get... I mean, I've... I know a lot of kids that are just rapping solely because of one four. That's that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I know a lot of kids out there that are just like, you know, they're just doing it because they heard one four and they can relate to it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it's about just getting comfortable. But now people are starting to get comfortable. Yeah, 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 yeah. The lingo, like people saying itswa, <laughs> you know, people, you <laughs> know, funny, people yeah. say eshe, yeah. adla, you know, all that. And, and, but that's the culture. That's what's yeah. out there, you know. And what you mean? know what, man? Growing up, someone growing up worse, like people, that used to be a diss. Like, like when people heard someone 
speaking from Western Sydney. It used to be a diss, yeah, you know? Yeah. And now I see everyone suddenly from Western suburbs. I'm like, I didn't see y'all. Like, yeah. I, I did not see y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Where were Western you? Sydney. And I was everywhere, man. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, the yeah, motherfuckers yeah. who I know that's from yeah. Western Sydney, I seen them. Even even know? me, like, I came from New Zealand. So, like, when I heard that, I was just like, whoa, that's kind of weird. Like, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But, like, over time, I got comfortable with it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Over time, when you hear it in the right place. Yeah, man. That's the other thing, too, is just... It's all about ingredient. The right ingredient, the right recipe, the right ingredients is gonna give you the best, the best food. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I, again, it's just time, man. Like you can see it happening. Right now is the time where you can see a lot of things happening. Mm -hmm. So it's again, it's all about the weight. <laughs> yeah. Damn. <laughs> but like, well, yeah, I, I, I mean, you got to give props to where it's due to all those people, likewise and. I mean, I'm not going to gas Dream Big, but... You know, gas you want to gas, man. Let them <laughs> know. Shout out let to those guys, man. Know. Like, shout let out to know. everyone. I mean, that's those are my Gs. Like, you know, we have to, a lot to contribute to that. But also, there were people before, even like K1. Yeah. Like, before that, man, I mean, shout out to K1. Like, because they were doing their thing before, you know? And they were the only, like, Af like African group around at that time. Yeah. Just had them... <laughs> That's it. We're popular, man. Yeah, we're popular man. people. <laughs> yeah. But like, yeah, man. Like, it's just mo. There's been moments in time. But yeah, that's another one I forgot to mention is K1. Bro, we just crew. We took them on tour with Chris yeah. Brown, bro, back in the day. Jeez, <laughs> man, see, too much history, man. Y'all, y'all better. For everyone listening now, forty six minutes. Y'all want the information? I yeah. rock with y'all. But uh, look, so like, look, we really appreciate your time. Oh, good, man. The information that you're giving a lot of people right now that are going to receive this information is extremely valuable. Yeah. A lot of people are going to learn a lot of things. And, you know, watching what you're doing, it's, it's amazing, man. Yeah. I think you're going to be someone who's going to be a very fortunate culture. Thanks, bro. Uh, especially that. within music. Yeah. Uh, like you said, I think we just got to continue being patient, continue yeah. pushing. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, look, so don't forget, everyone, like and subscribe. Don't forget to share with your friends. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much. See y'all soon. Peace. All right. Easy.